Good morning. Welcome to another cookery um, recipe from the Farmhouse Kitchen Cookbook. And today we are doing Abernethy biscuits. Abernethy is in Scotland. Uh, we've already we've uh, done something else in Scotland, but in a different area. Um, and here are the ingredients that we're using today, and that's two ounces of sugar, three tablespoons of milk, eight ounces of self-raising flour with a pinch of salt, three ounces of margarine, and two ounces of cooking fat, or we usually say lard. Uh, these are biscuits, so it should be quite a stiff dough. But we start off with a saucepan, dissolving the sugar and milk in a small pan over a low heat until uh, until um, the sugar is dissolved and then allowed to cool. So I put the sugar and the milk in the pan. I turn the heat on. Um, but I haven't turned it to I do not want the milk to burn and I should keep stirring all the time. Well, there you go, that's um, all dissolved now. And the, res and the way you tell that it's dissolved is when you can't feel any grit on the bottom of the pan with your spoon or hear it. Um, I've rubbed it all the way around the edge to get all the uh, granules in. I've now switched it off and I'm just going to let it cool down just for a minute. That only took about two minutes. Uh, the recipe says to sift the flour and salt into a bowl. Modern um, modern flours now are really so refined that I don't think that's necessary, but that's up to you if you wish to do that. And then you add all your fat, which is uh, your margarine, which should have been soft, but which, which should be soft, and your lard which would have gone out a bit soft in the room temperature and you use the rubbing method where you rub it together and when you do that lift it up and put as much air in as possible and then you just keep rubbing together until you've incorporated the fats all in with your flour and basically when, now I've got the big lumps out all you do is just rub it together between your fingers and make sure that you lift it up to incorporate the air as it falls down. Keep doing that until it resembles fine bread crumbs. There you go, it uh, represents fine bread crumbs and lift it up and aerate it as you were doing it and then you mix in the liquid and it should form a dough. There you go, now we're mixing the liquid. I don't want to put my hands in just yet until it's absorbed most of the liquid. I should have it all over my fingers. In fact, the teacher, my cookery teacher at school, said there's absolutely no reason why you should put, you can use a knife and keep turning and turning until it all comes together. And you know, I'm doing this with the spoon knot, and it's all come together without me putting my hands in. Obviously, now I will. And we'll read what it says next. Using a floured board, roll out dough to a quarter of an inch thick, cut around biscuits and place them in a little a little apart on baking trays. Right, there you go, let's get some flour. And if the recipe calls for self raising flour to be in your mixture, the self raising flour is what needs to go on the board. You keep everything the same. Do it all over. There you go. And then your hands a little bit 
wet. There you go. You might need quite a bit. But it needs to be soft and wet to make biscuits. Or wettish. That's how it starts. Make sure there's plenty of flour on your board. Make it into a round and we'll get the uh, rolling pin. It's very easy to roll out. I've got my cutting um, utensil ready. Make sure there's plenty of flour. Quarter of an inch. So it's rather thin. Until you think you've got it right all the way round. Make sure. That you've got it a quarter of an inch. I mean, if you want to be really pedantic about it, then you can actually go measuring tool. But I think that's quarter of an inch. And then just go all the way round. Make sure that this is in. Plenty of flour that's inside. On, on the cutting utensil and just cut as many as you can you can always roll it up again and then we're going to put them on a tray apparently there's another method for this you can roll them up into little balls and then flatten them but I think I'll write, I think this makes better circles So, once you've got enough, fit them up very gently and just lay them out. I'm going to put three in a little gap. And because they're very, very soft, you can either pick them up with your fingers or try and get them up with a spatula or something. Whoops, I broke that one, so I'll put them in again. Anyway, you've got the idea. Well there we go, I've, um, out of that um, quantity of dough I've made 24 and the next bit it says to prick each biscuit so I'm just going to do three pricks with my fork across the top and it seems to be sticking a bit, so put some flour on whoops Anyway, you've got the gist and we'll come back in a moment. So once you've uh, pricked them all over with your fork, uh, you bake near the top of a moderate, moderately hot oven, gas mark 5, 375 Fahrenheit, 190 Celsius for 15 minutes when biscuits will be pale golden brown. And then once they're cooked, you slide up a baking tray onto a wire rack to cool. So there you go, uh, these are slightly darker than these ones, I suppose what you could do is just, um, you have to keep your eye on your oven because if you've got a hot oven uh, then it might take a little bit less than 15 minutes. Uh, so um, now we'll taste them, what I'm going to do is taste the lighter ones and they are still warm and they're a bit like a shortbread They're better if they're cold, but absolutely lovely. So they're basically a shortbread. That's Abernethy, excuse me for eating while I'm talking to you. Abernethy biscuits. And Abernethy is in Scotland. So I hope you like them. Don't forget to, to like and subscribe. Thank you.